Now, Chris Monroe is the creator of Violet Day's cartoon strip and an author and an illustrator. In each case, she applies her unique lens to common experiences with humor and grace. This one has some lepers and um, a mythical giant goat, and then it's got Brad Pitt too, so no, none of the regulars really, but um, probably the type of character that could be expected in a Violet Days strip. I'd been veering away from some of the, the traditional things that I've, I've stuck to over the years. I don't want to look like I'm just resting on my laurels. <laughs> this is a beverage history examined, and this has some historical facts about chocolate milk, lemonade, beer, bath water, and uh, Pepsi. Because Pepsi was originally called Brad's drink, which I didn't realize that. That would have changed a lot of a lot of things. You know, I rarely think about audience because if I do, it starts to boggle my mind. So I, I generally just try to go with what I think is funny, what interests me. Usually it's just something that clicks during the week and I, I do take notes during the week um, if I get any ideas. If I'm short on ideas, that's a problem because sometimes I'm sitting there, you know, a 12 hours before deadline, just like, I have no idea. I'm not funny. I have nothing to say. But you know, every time that happens where I think, oh, this, this thing is just, un, you know, knocked out, um, somebody will comment that they like that one. So there's no explaining taste, I guess. I always work in pencil first and uh, lay it out and try to make my revisions before I have to use whiteout or anything like that. It is difficult to compress an idea down into, and actually it's only five panels because the first one is just a title, so um, yeah, that, that's, that's the hardest part. It's, I know I make it look easy, but it's, it's kind of complex sometimes. Someone criticized me one time for um, being a watcher you sit back and watch and it's like I think it's just part of my nature that's part of the reason I can do this comic is because I am constantly watching but you know it's just my interpretation I'm, I've been happy that people have thought it was funny and it's certainly been around a while now and I haven't really done it for the money so <laughs> I guess I'm sort of in it for, for the love of doing it. Now, Chris has some of her artwork at the Washington Studio Galleries in Duluth throughout the weekend, and along with the work of 11 art other artists, it's definitely worth a look.